interesting few weeks coming up to for me um i'm gonna really be ramping up my training and doing a few two a days during a week because i want to be in the best shape possible when i do end up going to berlin because i just love to flip and go there looking tight looking lean and not even for anybody it's not even like an impressing thing it's not even like a gallus thing it's just more so because we're going to be spending a lot of time on the dance floor and usually i'm not as much of a baby when i go out there i kind of surrender myself to the space i surrender to myself to the rave i don't cry and complain you're not seeing me sitting down or popping to the toilets every two minutes because i'm bored i usually try my best to stay on the dance floor for as long as possible and i usually for the most part stay out basically all night all the way into the morning and because this particular weekend i'm going which is going to be october the 14th i think that weekend there's a really good obviously night happening in Bergheim which I'm definitely going to go down and see but there's also more importantly one of my favorite parties hosted by Finn Johansson called Powerhouse and that's happening at Paloma Bar with none other than DJ Pete which I'm looking so forward to seeing and to being a part of so um the last time I went there I stayed basically until like what nine in the morning and then end up kind of um befriending um this cool couple who we ended up kind of hanging out with and then ended up befriending a, a few other people and this guy that happened to live around the corner from Paloma Bar we went around to his house but then it got really depressing because we found out his kid was there but sleeping in the bedroom and I think a few of us kind of decided to leave because it kind of felt a bit weird but if it was a cool night to kind of see that side of um, Berlin because for the most part when I do go there I do bump into people here and there but they usually they usually kind of don't live in the Kreuzbergy area they're usually in Neuklon they may be in Wedding they might be in Prince Lauerberg but to find somebody that lives in that kind of center Kreuzberg type of area and obviously this is, you know the guys seem pretty chill and cool and stuff but then we ended up being in a room you know with all the lights on with people flipping crushing lines of care in front of me on the mirror that was absolutely a mad sight and i was like okay cool maybe this isn't a place for me but i enjoyed the place anyway because one thing i can do one thing you can trust me to do is to acclimatize to my surroundings i saw them crushing up the flipping cat and late you know and doing lines of that you know at flipping what 10 a.m in the morning and if you've ever flipping had cat before you know how harsh that thing is you know how much of a disassociative it is and everything it's just not the type of thing i'm ever gonna do anyway especially not at 10 a.m in the morning after i've been up you know for like 12 hours so i just kind of let them enjoy I had my crisp, I had my drinks and shit that I bought, kind of like hung hangover food. And um, yeah, I was sharing a couple of my snacks and I had my little orange juice and I was kind of enjoying life and holding court and making conversations and chatting away. And I remember just having an absolute blast. So all those things I do when I go there, I need to be in my best condition possible. It's sort of like a... Um, what you call it a raving training camp right i'm putting myself in the best shape possible so when i hit the ground running i can flip and rave and get down with it do you know what i mean and just be like mm, mm, ah, ah, and be honest so i'm really looking forward to it all the DJs i want to see there so i can't wait to flip and go i'm honestly so excited it might be the most excited i've been in a while and obviously when i'm going i'm gonna be sweet i'm gonna be dripped up and shit you know what i mean i'm just gonna be enjoying my around my surroundings and really making the most of it and now that the weather is cold because as much as i did want to go in the, in the summer i made loads of plans i didn't really follow through and usually when i don't follow through with things it's nine times out of ten because i don't want to do it so subconsciously i didn't want to do it because it'll be too warm i'm not the warm type of guy if i'm gonna go to a beach place i'll go to a beach place but i just hate going to like a city environment where it's super hot and it's not great air conditioning and i'm having to walk around and i'm sweating everywhere and it's just get i get all self-conscious yeah you know i mean I, I just don't like it so i prefer to go when it's cool and me loves cold fashion i love to be able to wear like big bomber jackets big sweatpants big balenciaga boots saint laurent boots vetemore jackets you know what i mean like all my little korean brand shit that's all like double double xl 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 and it'll obviously look way better when i lose a couple lbs like all that stuff is great but having to kind of wear like summer raving clothes is horrible because everyone ends up looking the same jean shorts pop socks um or like sorry um what you call it um knee high socks or something that you maybe pull down a little bit dr martins or any other n number of boots you kind of all have the same type of look and i think it's kind of boring so i do prefer when i'm able to go to these kind of places and i can wear 
my actual designer bits and pieces so i'm looking forward to doing that that's going to be such a blast i cannot wait honestly i'm super excited to go and i'm really really anxious to go and rave and have a good time because i haven't really been having a rave or a good time over here in london i've been kind of boring in that regard um but again it's not my fault i did everything correct i did nothing wrong <laughs> as dsp would say because i've said it before to many people i think a lot of our bookings are wasted on us i saw um recently that amazing dj called um narciss or narcissus i forgot he says his name narcissism or narcissus or whatever he's playing i think in the pickle factory or they're playing in the pickle factory right and again great dj one of the i think you know one of the next ones coming up who looks like they've got something about them for sure and they're having to play in the pickle factory like it's such a shit venue no not the best sound um not the best raving experience the search is flipping so so of putting um it's just horrible i hate it you know it's just not the great club to be at and you know just the other what well, was it a couple of years ago there was a shoot in there and shit so it doesn't attract the flipping greatest clientele and that's where that person's playing right one of the next up-and-coming djs one of the ones that's kind of can, killing you on the scene is having to play at one of the worst clubs that we have in london because we don't have that many good ones it just is what it is we're kind of you know we're kind of um we're kind of stuck in that regard we don't really have anywhere else to go it's just you know we you have what's available you have to make the best out of it and hope that you can kind of go from there so let's see what happens going forward but again Burkhan experience is always a good one for me because i get an opportunity to actually rave properly um, which i don't really get a chance to do anymore here because you know it's just not the same vibe as it was maybe in the past so i'm eager to see what i go on for that and everything you know and obviously to see the the hear the new sound system that everybody's been somewhat raving about some people don't like it some people have got you know some people are a bit you know probably don't even notice there was a new sound system but i'm really eager to see what that ends up sounding like um and some few other bits and bobs maybe there's a new bunch of bouncers that i've not really known or interacted with there's going to be so much stuff i'm going to be looking forward to, to checking out so i'm really 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 eager to see um what's going on when it happens and when i'm there so um you know if you see me on that weekend look look out for me if you see me give me a wave shout out ago you know what i mean let me know while guan but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I am looking forward to it. Um, let me actually read that. What did this person say? Somebody said this in the Bergheim, what you call it, community subreddit about the speakers that have been just been installed, the new sound system in there. They said, um, so I could finally see and hear um, the thing. And here's my first impression. These are subjective and I'm not a sound engineer. Aesthetically, they are not as sexy and iconic as the old dance stacks that, as they miss the peculiar three piece shape of the back protrusion in the center part and front tail at the upper part. Basically now the base cube at the bottom, I think not as tall as before, but I could be wrong as I don't remember exactly how tall the part was. The different grew at the front and partially extends the height of the cover and the central part, which is also covered um, in some sort of mesh. It's difficult to see indeed the top is composed of two separate vertical rectangular speakers placed next to each other and has a classic white f1 diffuser and a black part above it like a classic f1 rs speaker but upside down if that makes sense the overall shape of the back from the side is now a two-piece con configuration also the grill that extends on the height is also on the sides and it's not close above and for now at least if you try to place anything above it like you did before it will fall inside above the bottom base cube and there's no way you'll recover it the center front and the rear speakers hanging from the roof are still there and seem to be the good old ones to me and there's now an extra very little bare speaker that i'm not really used to the tax are now rotated to all uh, the fire towards them in the center about the sound that's what i want to hear the sound they said i have moments of infusive and moments of per per uh, perplexity when i went past a wardrobe and started climbing the stairs i felt bold and louder than before but when i entered the bergheim floor that boominess disappeared and i felt again only in the main bar I, oh wow really the sound feels like it the sound of the main dance floor feels like you're in the main bar that's a bit concerning even though the sound of the main bar is better than most of our clubs here in london that's still concerning for them rotted as first impressions i feel the sound is now more full and even on the left hand side of the floor where standing in line with the stacks is really pleasurable and for the mind and standing in the line with the base with the cabinet is also pleasurable to the body on the right hand side of the floor i don't feel the same fullness or the 
the same fullness or there seemed to be more zones that were sound experience as someone said not only bodily exactly the podium zone between the right decks seemed sonically dead on average in all the sun floor was it the little sorry the little bare speakers in the front right corner revived the area with a positive influx of high frequency so i think it's just too early for me to draw any conclusions especially um being biased by many years of knowing exactly how to expect and what sonically feel amongst every spot on the dance floor so a bit of a subjective view there as that person pointed out i'd have to go and obviously see it and hear it to believe it but as per usual as i always say these guys are really 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 lucky because they can expect to have most of their clubs have half decent sound right most of their clubs have a specific sound engineers who tune the decks who tune the sound system um specific to who's promoting or who is playing or what type of records they're going to place it gets really nerdy over there because they take clubbing very seriously so these sort of things are incredible to see but it, it, i can't help but think to myself man i wish we had a bit of this in london because i remember that being the one thing that i couldn't get out of my head when i went to print works and i think that's the one thing that i think makes london raving hard i think if you don't have much experience going abroad and going to other different places around europe especially and different festivals and shit and clubs you won't really notice the difference but once you go to one it's hard to ever look at our club and seem the same because i remember that's the first thing i noticed when i walked into print works when it was still open here in london i noticed the sound didn't match what the building looked like because the building obviously reminded me of what Bergheim is right that kind of um industrial warehousey type of a feel but then you walk into it and it kind of felt like a, it kind of felt like a set for a movie or something right like a film set or studio set where maybe there might be some noise going down on down there because they're filming or they're shooting something but for the most part everyone's just milling around that's what it sort of like sounded like and by the time you got to the front of the venue or the of the dj booth sorry where it was in that little triangle bit where sorry that little rectangle shape dance floor area that they have where the main i guess printing press was for the old print works or where the drums were that's where the sound gets better but you have to go right to the front and that probably explains why in london or in the uk we have this right to the front culture which is something that probably stems from our live gig and you know kind of scene that we have here but even in clubs people run right to the front just to stand and stare at the dj which i've never understood or even if you want to dance you don't have space because there's people behind you literally squashing you into the flipping barriers but the reason why people do it is because if you paid 60 pounds to go and see a dj play in a club you're going to want to hear it better so you want to go to the front um, but obviously going to the front for me it just it makes me feel claustrophobic i feel too constrained and it just isn't fun you can't really dance around you can't really turn around you can't really be loose it's just bait and i'm just not a fan of it so that's what makes it hard to kind of enjoy those sort of spaces but these guys went out of their way to improve the sound system it still probably needs a bit of bedding in process it's still going to take some time to get used to or it's probably never going to match up to the old sound system because like your old club experiences they're so tied to like your you know past exp it's, it, they're so tied to a moment in time that you had so it's very hard to divorce that so maybe if they were better technically no one would obviously hear that because you remember what it was like the first time you walked up those stairs i think most people who'd ever gone to bergheim will say that they all remember the first time you actually trotted up those stairs was making sure you weren't falling down you were seeing all these amazing people walking past you who dressed you know in all these flipping elaborate outfits you were hearing the flipping bass just wobbling in your flipping ears the smell the smoke the lights like oh people dancing on the fucking on the platforms on the back just incredible so i'm sure that stuff is hard to kind of shake out of your head but again these guys have you know this is this is their life daily they get to do this sort of stuff they get to get nerdy on this sort of things where for the most part the most thing we're worried about is is the club going to be open until six can i rave all night or do i have to come here by fucking 10 p.m to get a rave until four it's really really sad but hey what can you do what can you do i'm so looking forward to going when i go and i guess london is the way it is and i have to kind of handle it i can't do anything about it i can't do anything about it